to Bone of My Bone. Marriage of the Heart. We are your hosts. I am Katina Robinson. And I'm Mr. Ronnie Robinson. Hey, hey, hey. And let us tell you a little bit about Bone of My Bone, Marriage of the Heart, and where it comes from, which is Matthew, I mean Genesis, I'm sorry, <laughs> Genesis chapter 2, 23 and 24. And Adam said, this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She should be called woman because she would take it out of man. Hey. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Yes, yes, yes. And we so enjoy being each other's wife. Baby, you look, you're looking radiant tonight. You got this cool, Thank you, baby. burgundy, successful color. Oh, you right are a now. successful woman. Anyway, yes. but thank you're looking you, all cool about things tonight. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. I'm I so happy my to be best. with you. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. I'm so happy, I'm so happy to be, be here with her tonight. I'm so happy to be with her. Tonight. I'm so <laughs> yes. happy to be with her tonight. Yes. And the scripture I was trying to give earlier is the second half of Bone of My Bone, Marriage of the Heart, which is Matthew 6 and 21, which says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And listen. In these four walls, I have a treasure. <laughs> and in that treasure box is that beautiful smile right there. And beautiful cheeks. And oh my goodness, my wife is, she's my turn on. She's All my right. turn on. She's my bone and my bone. All right, she's man. the real deal. She's my butterfly. Yes, sir. Don't yeah. everybody know that now. That's, oh, that's the secret. That's the secret. <laughs> Yes, yes. But the purpose of Bone of My Bone Marriage of the Heart is to encourage couples to remember love is worth, worth fighting for. Do yes, it. it. You can is. handle it. it. You can handle it. You can handle it. Yes. You know, overcome. The Lord said he, he died because he gave us a victory over death and life over it all. Yes. So, hey, you can overcome this issue. You can overdo it. You can overdo it. Yes, overcome it all. Yes. And so if you have not shared the video already, go ahead and share it. Tonight topic, we're going to be talking about ironing out the wrinkles. You do not want to miss not one part of this conversation on tonight because yes. it's going to be good. It's going to be real. It's going to be real good. So you don't want to miss it. So let's talk about ironing out the wrinkles. But before we do, at the bottom of the string, you will notice we have where you can seed into this ministry, which is Cash App with dollar sign Bone of My Bone 888. Or if you want to pay the uh, uh, seed via PayPal, then it's Bone of My Bone Marriage of the Heart at gmail.com. Again, if you would like to seed into this ministry, the ways that you can do that would be Cash App is dollar sign Bone of My Bone 888. And yes. then via PayPal, it's Bone of My Bone Marriage of the Heart at gmail.com. Amen. And we want to go ahead and give a shout out to OPNS early. You know, OPNS 97.1. Here yes. we grow. Yes yes, 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 yes. So we're giving them a shout out. We love them. Why well, I'm giving them a shout out? A shout out. Every Saturday, we are on there live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central Time, and you know all the rest of the time zones. Y'all can figure that one out. Come on. But yes, we are live on there every Saturday. So go and listen on to 97.1 every Saturday in the 11 o'clock hour, and you will catch us, bone of my bone, on there giving you some nuggets Come and on. having a conversation about marriage, relationship, love, and all the they things related. Doing it all. Doing yes, because y'all know we are transparent, and so we talk about it all so catch us every Saturday at 11 a.m. on 97.1 and also on Saturdays you can just click the link and click just click it and listen amen amen you know what baby I just want to say to the audience tonight when you get this video or whenever you see this I just want to say you know I thank God to be able to come before you and to and to be a conduit for him to to get some good nuggets to you. But you know, I, I really appreciate you all. 
I appreciate mm -hmm. the audience. I appreciate yes, that that the ones that is truly understanding what marriage is all about, the ups and downs and all around of things. You know, marriage is real deal. It's the real deal. It is mm -hmm. it is a top of the line. Um, I cannot put it. It is a top of the line mentality because you you dealing with with a wife and you're dealing with the babies that come after that you dealing with the life of taking care of them you dealing with life or, or going to work to do to take care of this family so it, it, it's the real deal it's the it real deal it, to me it's, it, it, it is the toughest man on this planet to be married and it's the toughest lady on this planet to be married because you are coming together you are laying it all out saying i gotta do life with you I will do life with you, and I mean that sincerely in making it work. Now, when the things negative come your way in your marriage, that's when you're supposed to fall in love the most. Mm -hmm. Instead of pulling apart, you pull together to deal with the issue. So that must, I said that to lead into the topic again, baby. All right. Earning out the wrinkles yes. well you know i'm gonna I'm use this tonight because I'm, I'm a i'm a prime example by ernie i love ernie y'all that's yes, he did. that's my thing i mean i don't care if you got a pair of shorts or whatever on you earn them. <laughs> get the wrinkles out i believe in that yes, and and does. and when my kids was growing up my wife know i would have her outfit earned mm -hmm. No, start with mine first. I, I always have to do mine first because I'm, 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 you know, I have to break the seal. So when I do mine, I get mine out the way. I, I go to my wife after. This is when we was when we were a young family. Kids was young. Mm -hmm. I'll start with my wife. I'll make sure all the wrinkles are out. Mm -hmm. I make sure that 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 when my wife step out, listen to this. When my wife step out, I don't want to see no wrinkles. I want her to be crisp, crisp. Chris clean or mm -hmm. fresh or however you want to put it. I did not want to see the records. I want her at her best because she is a queen. Mm -hmm. Then I move on down to the to the children's. I would iron their clothes, making sure that they crease, got everything on, and when they hanging out with the king and the queen, they got to be the little the little coming up kings and queens. So I would iron theirs. I took a joy in earning the clothes. Let's flip the, 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 the coin now. In a relationship with your wife, in a marriage, mm -hmm. when things are getting really nasty, when, when, uh, when love making ain't been love making in a while because of the negativity, because things, maybe it could be bills, it could be the children's. It could just be just the, just the point that that, that you you get familiar with everything. You are getting used to you know the everyday thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you something. Coming together, like our, our scripture that we use Genesis chapter two verse I mean chapter uh, chapter uh, two chapter verse twenty three and twenty four. You know I, I cleave unto my wife and we become one flesh. You become that person, and both of you. Use that iron, and that iron is Jesus Christ. Oh yes. Use Jesus to give you a, a mentality to iron out the issues that you're going through. And, and I'm telling you, fight for that. Mm -hmm. Fight for that. Because you can give up. It's easy to give up That's and then say, I'm done, and then go through the divorce and go through everything that and, and, and this and that. But I got to say this: you don't have to go through trauma. To, to fight for your, your marriage, getting beaten and all this. No, no, that's a no, no. But I'm saying after my wife and I, we was married, we've been married before. But when God ordained her and I to be together and start this ministry, I'm ready to earn out any wrinkle that come my way. Whether, check this out, whether it's the finances, whether it's the charities, whether it's us, or whether it's something with the house here, or, or with the vehicles, or with, or, or, or with my job, we come together and iron the wrinkles out of the situation because one thing Satan want to do, 
He want to throw so many wrinkles in this thing oh, yeah. that you 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 think you're going down a, a straight path, but but all over here come a wrinkle and you and you twist and you're going down another path. That's why you pull together as bone of my bone, marriage of the heart. We pull together and earn out these issues in our relationship. And if you have not shared the video already, go ahead and share the video. And when you come on, say hello. So we'll know you there because if you Do don't it. if you don't speak, we just see numbers going up, but we don't necessarily see you. And we love to acknowledge our audience. Oh, hey, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel. Yes. And so talking about ironing out the wrinkles, you know, that was it's so funny because that was one of the agreements me and my husband had when we got married. I love to cook. He don't like the kitchen at all. Nothing about the kitchen. But far as hello Patricia, hello. Hello, hello. Y'all come on in and enjoy and ask questions or whatever hey. you like. Hey. And so uh he loves to iron, always have. Matter of fact, that's one of the things, even though we didn't like each other when we first met. Oh, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. We don't like get into man. that one. But anyway, uh one of the things that I did admire about him just as a man. Like we worked in a hospital setting and we wore scrubs and his scrubs were always crisp and sharp and all of that. And I paid attention to that, that I, I really admired that about him. And so when we got married. That was one of the things he told me he loved to do. And I hate to iron. So I was like, perfect, God, you did that thing. And so, yes, when it comes to ironing out the wrinkles in relationships, in marriage, you know, you always want to not overlook the wrinkles a lot of times we want right, to sweep right. things under the rug you know mm -hmm. like they're not there we want to ignore them and you know if you um see like a little wrinkle in your clothes and then you kind of ball it up or whatever put it to the side then there's more wrinkles and there's more wrinkles and it just keeps getting more wrinkled Come and on. that's how it is in a marriage if you choose to ignore the the wrinkle that one wrinkle that pop up and you say i'm just gonna sweep it under the carpet it ain't no big deal you know we're just gonna press past that then all of a sudden that 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 heel just keeps getting bigger and bigger and it can't be ignored because if you if you keep letting it just get higher and higher then somebody's gonna fall somebody's gonna have an accident or something because it's not being attended to so when you're ironing out the wrinkles you have to stop when you see the wrinkle. Go ahead and take care of it. Nipple in the bud. Be confrontational about it. You know, be a communicator within your marriage. You have to communicate. That is the key. One yes. of the, it's three key things that can kill a marriage over anything. And one is communication. Mm. Another one is money. Another mm. one is sex. But communication can help iron out a whole lot of things if you just yes. be upfront yes. and honest. I always talk about this and say this a lot on the show because this is literally what we believe in. Don't be uh, honest with your, your um, spouse. Don't be just honest with your spouse. Be transparent. And the difference is when you're honest, that means you've been caught. You've been, you know, your spouse um, found out something. You know, not saying, you know, nothing bad about cheating or something like that. We're not talking about that kind of thing. We're talking about just something in general, you know, that you may have overspent. Instead of letting your spouse discover that you out there spending more money than you're supposed to be, go ahead and just tell them up front. Say, baby, you know, I went to the store. I spent more than I needed to. Blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. That's when it, it works out better in communication when you're transparent and just lay it all out. We are strong believer in counseling, especially before you get married. Lay it all out. There was a lot of things we went through, like a deep, detailed counseling before we got married. And one of the reasons in particular, uh, we wanted our marriage to work. As my husband said earlier, we both have been married before. We don't we don't want to go like this time. If we get married, it's for life. We ain't finna do no overdue, overtakes, marrying again. No, nah, this is for life. And so we wanted to do it that reason. And also we're a blended family. And so, you know, then you factor in all the baby mama drama, the dad, baby daddy drama. You factor in things of when kids get a certain age, sometimes they start smelling themselves and they'll use that, you ain't my real mama, you ain't my real daddy Ooh. car. So we iron all that stuff out early in the game because we weren't fit to put up with all of that. Yes. And so because we discussed it, we talked about how we would handle it when that time come, if that time came. And that helped us be able to iron those wrinkles out before they got bunched up. Yeah. And so you have to deal with stuff. You have to really communicate and 
be an effective communicator about things instead of letting them pile up or letting them uh, just hold them in your heart. Like, you know, if it's something your spouse is doing that's really aggravating you, but you just choose to say, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go. And then all of a sudden you blow up at your spouse and they like, wow, it wasn't that big a deal, was it? It's because you've harbored things, you've held in things, yeah. not realizing that that was just going to build up and build up and build up. So iron out them wrinkles in the beginning and that way it's a smoother journey. And going and going back to uh, uh, the, the blended family, mm -hmm. see, one thing I had to do, I had to iron out my wrinkles with my mentality mm -hmm. because here it is, I'm fit to receive three beautiful children that's that's not my biological children. So I had to iron out that mentality that Satan is saying, oh, man, you know you ain't going to love these kids like you love their mama. Uh, you just think about, like like my wife said, and you, you get kind of frustrated at them. They look at you upside your head like you ain't the one. Uh, you just you just a fill in. You know, all those things I had to iron out with Christ. I had to let Jesus Christ deal with me, purify me, cleanse me, redeem me from my mentality with that. Because I knew I loved their mother. But one thing that God had opened my heart up after he cleansed and got those thoughts out, because I'm going to tell you, it's two thoughts being hurled at you every tenth of a second into the hour. Satan is hurling his thought and God is hurling his, the Holy Ghost is giving his thought. So I had to earn out my mentality to be able to love her. And when I loved her I and started dating her, I fell in love with the kids also. It became a bundle of love to me. And so I knew God had earned those, those, those negative mentality thinking, carnality men, think, thinking ways out of me it was when, I, when I embraced the whole family. And, and dealing with my wife earning out all her things that she went through in life, you know, I had to be a great listener. That's one thing Christ, Christ gave me yes. at that at that point in time that, that I had to earn out. I need to listen. I need to listen and listen closely because one thing with my wife, I stuttered her to the bone, yes, to did. the bone marrow. Yes, I mean, I made sure I wanted to get into the bloodline of the bone marrow <laughs> of all of it because I, because I wanted to know, you know, how can I deliver love and, and cover all those scars that she had been through? Mm -hmm. She is a beautiful woman, smart woman, awesome mother. You can't you can't tell what she's been through, but I, I do, I know. So God earned that thing out for me. I got it right. That's why I love to earn because I, <laughs> when I look at a problem like that, I want to smooth it out, get it out. But and and, and, and sometimes it takes some heat to do it. And uh, mm -hmm. like God say, the, 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 the next purification is going to be with fire. It ain't going to be with water. It's going to be with fire, baby. And I and, and sometimes it takes some heat to do that. So to that's, iron out the wrinkles. That's a good point you just made, baby, talking about it takes heat. You think about that. The pressures of life is what help you smooth really into your necks because uh -huh. without the pressures that come along with life, then if you don't go through some things, it don't build your muscles. So if you're if you're not using those muscles because you're going through some things at times, then they're getting weak, they're getting flabby, they're not being used. But when you put pressure on them by working them out, by putting heat on something, then it smooths it on out. And we can share a prime example of that just recently. I know all of you that follow my Facebook page uh, saw that I went through some things just recently that was Ooh. definitely wrinkles that we had to iron out and it's still ironing out. Mm -hmm. So um, about two weeks ago, uh, about yeah, two Saturdays ago, like I was just in some severe pain, you guys. And just being honest, I have a high pain tolerance. I delivered all three of my children uh, that I gave birth to naturally. I didn't have an epidural or none of that. I, yeah, I spit them out. <laughs> Wasn't easy, but anyway, I have a high tolerance for pain. So my husband kept hearing me complaining about my side. My side was hurting, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't making sense. I had no other symptoms. I would just have this pain every now and then, and it would come and go. And by every time I decide, okay, I'm gonna go to the doctor and get this checked out, it will go away. 
And so um, two Saturdays ago, like it was just bad. It was so severe. I could not even get comfortable. I could not even um, I could not even lay down to rest. I couldn't do none of that. And so my husband said, OK, baby, you go into the ER. And so went to the ER. Long story short, found out it was kidney stone. So you talking about a wrinkle. We had, we were working. I was working on so many things uh, at home because I work from home, um, everything that I do. And literally, my husband had to take some days off from work. And it was definitely some wrinkles thrown in our iron <laughs> because that caught us off guard. Like, literally, it put everything on pause for me for a few minutes. And even though it has gotten better, you know, I'm still dealing with it slightly. But it's not as severe as it was. But that was definitely a huge wrinkle throw into our lives. Like, OK, where did this come from? Just when you're on, on a roll, you know, we're doing business stuff, we're doing ministry stuff, we're doing life. You know, you get a, a system set up and everything and bam, something like this happened. And so it just throwed us off. And, you know, like I said, many of you that follow my Facebook saw I posted that picture uh, and that's how I felt. Like the way my hair was looking, that's how I felt. I, like what just I hit told me. my wife I didn't even want to make a comment on that one. <laughs> but I, I love, wanted to be I love her, but I didn't want to make a comment on that one. But see, we have to be transparent. That's People true. look at us all the time. They see us on this show and look like we got it all together. We even hear in the we are. Yes, and we hear that all the time. You guys are this perfect couple, you know, y'all don't look like you ever go through things. So I'm one of those. I love to be transparent to to let you know. Oh no, we go through some things. We just don't choose to focus on the negative. Come on. But that was such a just a blow. Like it was it was bad, you guys. Like I was in some serious pain to the fact that I had to just literally take medication and sleep. That was the only thing I could do. And I hate when I say hate doing that because I feel like you're just sleeping your life away, you know, and I know that's not the case and that's what I needed to do, but still, I didn't want to do it. Uh, so my husband had to just jump in and be like, baby, I got you, you know, just get your rest and whatever you need to do, whatever you need for me to do, all of those things. So that was a huge wrinkle that was thrown into our uh, life. And, uh, and the thing about uh, earning out the wrinkles, I made sure that I, re I resorted back to my uh, to, to my earlier days of dating her and taking care of her and being in her life is that I earned out the wrinkles to know how to kick it in when things is not going right with her to know to just OK, boom. It's time for me to cook. I cooked a little. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes. it's good. Hey. But, uh, <laughs> but check it out, though. I had to earn out the wrinkles on mm -hmm. my on me. See, I could have still stayed personal, and it was all about me. I'm going to work. I'm coming in. I can do my thing and not really pay it in attention. But this comes from studying that one you love and the one you want to do life with. I, I, I knew what to do. I knew yeah. exactly what to do. It just was to just shut up, run and get out the way and let your spirit take over. Because that's, that's simply I, I deal with my wife in the spirit, not yes. not on the outside. I, I love her through Christ. So he give me that 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 spirit to connect with him when I need to do things mm -hmm. to make her happy. Like, like she said, she's still kind of going through things right now. But. I'm pushing my yeah, way to come yeah, over here and yeah. talk to y'all. Yeah, you know, yeah, because, sure. hey, it's life. Somebody life give a hand. On. Somebody give a thumbs up or something. You know what I mean? Because, hey, she's, she's putting it out tonight. Yeah, I've been I've been going through. Oh, I yes. have, you guys. But my husband has been here 100%. We're going to earn the out. We're going to earn them out yes. together. Even if one is down, I'm going to be standing. Yes. I'm going to be standing to, to take care of business. And if I was down, I know. My my the Amen. one that I would live with, I I want to do life with, she gonna yes. be right there beside me. So exactly. they, those are the type of relationships that are made going through things mm -hmm. and coming out of things. Right. But going through them and coming out, you are together. Mm -hmm. You are together. Your your thinking, your choices, uh, you're discussing things, your communication is at an all-time high. And see, I want to say this, baby. Yeah. This is see when you're going through negativity, truly that's when your 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 expertise of communication should kick in. The positivity going through something negative, mm -hmm. the positive will overcome that negative every yes. time. Every time. So hey, 
That's why we're bone of bone, bone of my bone. It's because we believe in, in us now through Christ, not just us. We don't love each other for the outside in. We love it from the inside out. Yes. So, so earn out the wrinkles. Learn how to do that. Learn how to do that even with your children. Learn how to do that. Don't let them play them, play you separately. No, you stay together and earn out that situation with them. Because sometimes children can try to play the mom on the dad and dad on the mom right. and then try to separate things and have, have you you're looking at each other like, what's going on? No, uh-uh. You pull together and you earn through that issue. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. And I'm not the wrinkles. Um, That's one of the things like we talked about before we got married, though. Yeah. I always said, OK, how would you handle if I'm down and I can't do the regular things? You know, if I'm the cook and I and I just can't cook for whatever reason or uh, I know it was one period of time I was working full time and going to school. And so my husband had to take over. I would buy, you know, things in bulk from Sam's or something to make it easier for him because cooking is not something he liked to do. Not that he can't. Now, let me put a plug in that. I thought for years that my husband couldn't cook because I was the one that cooked all the time. And then one time he surprised me and he fried up some pork chops and and some sides and all of that. And it was so good. I was like, you've been holding out on well, me. See, she don't I'm, eat I'm much fried. Okay, okay, okay. And so the thing was, I don't do fried food. Everything that I fix, I bake or I broil. You know, I eat it the healthy. I try to be as, ha have my family to eat as healthy as we possibly can. So we don't do a lot of fried foods. But he, he can fry real good. He's really good okay, at it. country boy. So every now and then, you know, he'll he'll throw down in the kitchen with a little frying going on. But um, but that came from us learning each other, you know, just knowing what works. Uh do our do our marriage have challenges? Yes. But I feel like we're in a place where we know each other so well. We communicate each other with with each other so well. Like a lot of that when I was going through pain and stuff, I didn't have to say anything to him. Mm -hmm. He was reading my body language and he knew I have a high tolerance for pain. So if something is really just kind of knocking the wind out of me in pain, he knew it was something serious and he kept telling me to go to the doctor. I was oh, yes. putting it off oh, yes. because I'm not for those of you that know and know me personally know I'm a nurse and I believe in treating things the natural way mm -hmm. first. Like it, all else, we're going to treat it naturally every way we can before we resort to, you know, having to go to the doctor or taking prescriptions or anything like that. Not to say I'm against that. It's just that that's what we choose to do. Amen. Hey, and one thing that we don't talk about much, my wife and I on the show, is, uh, and one day we probably get a get a, a expertise that can get them to give people the pointers, but finances. Mm -hmm. See, it's it's two things Satan love to use against a marriage. Money and sex. Mm -hmm. Those two, everything else trickles off that. All of the other di disappointments and everything trickles off those two. Those his main two weapons that he love to use when it comes to a marriage. One thing my wife and I ironed out early in the game, she loved the accounting part. That's cool. Yes. I can do it. I was single. I, I mean, I, you know, I'm an independent man. I, yeah. So I can do it, but she's real good at it. So we earn that out. Mm -hmm. Check this out, guys. Check this out. You can say what you want to say about me. I'm not a weak man. I know who I am, and she know who I am. Mm -hmm. We earn that out quickly. Baby, you deal with it then. You deal with it. I had to iron my pride out. Like, cool, cool. I gave. Hey, Lord, you blessed me with a beautiful accountant. That's how I look at it. They know how to deal with it. It's smart. Hey, so look, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. So those things, dealing with finances, get on one accord. Iron them out right now, right today. I know a couple, not calling no name, but I know a couple right now splitting up. Because she said, you ain't bringing enough in because, and this is why, because she looking over at the grass and on the grass, the Joneses has got this and got that. So she left him because of money. Ah, 
I can tell you a story right now in the 50s and 60s. I know family with nine and eight kids. We, matter of fact, I'm from a family of six. My wife is a family of nine. nine. Mm -hmm. But the parents knew how to iron out the wrinkles and not run from the challenge. Mm -hmm. It's time to buckle down now, married couples, whether you're young or older. Because we know people have been married for, what, 25 years and got a divorce, 30 oh, years yeah. and got a Definitely. divorce. So it's time to buckle down. Think about what you're doing and think about what you're doing together. Earn out the wrinkles of your mentality. Love, you, love each other through it. Mm -hmm. And every time you do that, you will sharpen your marriage to the, to the point to the point, to the sharpest point, that any time, any time a small line can come up, you can trace right over it because you are so, so sharp together and ironing out every wrinkle that, that, that comes your way, every acquisition that Satan is hurling towards your marriage and trying to get you to default on it or dissolve it, you can overcome it. You had a victory. You, you had a victory. You had a victory. Our father said you had you have the victory. Yes. And if it uh if you are in need of counseling of any kind, you know, don't be don't be so stuck in your pride that Come you on. choose not to uh, acknowledge that. You That's know, good. and we are marriage counselors. We are ordained ministers. And so I will put the website on on here so you can see it. Our website is www. Bomb, B O M B, marriage, M A R R I A G E dot org, O R G. Again, that's www.bummarriage dot org. You can go to our website and sign up uh, for counseling, for coaching, for any guidance you need in your marriage, any events you have going on that you, you, you know, is focused around merit or people that's wanting to get married. We're, you know, both speakers, like I said, both ordained ministers. You can book us. And yes. yeah, and we're here to help. We want to see marriages grow. We want to see marriages do better than just exist. We, we are around people all the time that in their marriages, they just tolerate each other. They just exist. Y'all, I promise y'all, and I'm not saying this just because we're on here on live or anything, but we thrive in our marriage. We love each other. We uh, enjoy doing life together. It's not a front, anything. We enjoy doing life together. We enjoy doing life in purpose. And when you're just existing, really you're just you're just giving away idle time you know you can be doing so much together as a husband and wife team two is way better than one yeah so when you put a husband and a wife and they're both working together on fire for doing the things god has is. called them to do and then uh just put it all together uh lives are changed you know we're here to inspire i always say i don't I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm an inspirational speaker. And mm -hmm. what reason I say that is because you can motivate somebody and they may, you know, it may move them right that minute. But when you inspire somebody, inspire them makes them do changes, make changes. So we want to inspire you to make better, mm -hmm. do better in your marriage, do better in your life, period. Not just motivate you because motivation, you can have motivation one day and be gone the next. You know, there's just like people that, Every in, in January, everybody going all of these. I'm not going to spend. I'm going to watch my money. I'm going to uh, lose weight. I'm going to change my eating habits. By the by the mid of January, all them things went, went out the window. And so they had motivation to do those things, but they weren't inspired to make the changes. So be inspired and make the change. And if you need assistance in any of those areas, we are here to help you. So go to our website again, www.bummarriage.org and uh, go and select the services that you would like for us to help you with. And Amen. we are we are right on top of it, Amen. ready to connect with you and help you grow in whatever area you're needing assistance in. And that's all a part of I'm not the wrinkles. You know, we, we have people that we talk to and we feel like we're getting overwhelmed in our marriage or overwhelmed as as individual, because usually it's not so much with us uh, within our marriage. It's just, you know, 
life sometimes, you know, women issues or, or mother issues or things like that. Sometimes you just need someone to talk to, to help you uh, look at it from another perspective. Amen. And uh, another thing, earning out the wrinkles, is that uh, when it when it comes to your, your personal health, that's that's another thing that that I battle with, and 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 it, that's and my wife sometimes. But you got to you you got to learn how to iron out the wrinkles. And 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 what I mean by that is that when when it comes to taking care of your spouse, don't hesitate. Don't let the world, don't let your job, don't let anything stop you from taking care of your spouse. That's earning out the wrinkle because the world is trying to, right now the world is trying to separate everything, trying to make right, wrong, and wrong, right. That is so, so, true. so just you, you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. And, and one thing about it, keep that iron hot. Keep it hot. Good, keep the hot, keep the iron hot, and keep the steam coming. Keep the steam. That oh, see that you know I know I love iron because I'm talking yes, about keeping it hot on high and keeping the steam coming. Yes, he's That's, particular about themselves right, on right, that iron. Right, right. You don't mess with my husband iron. No, no, because the bottom line is I want my marriage to to be ready and Christine when Christ come back. I want him to look at us and see the blood and see the blood that he that he shed it over our spirit over who we are. And what we stand for, I want it done. And and, and like I said, you got to keep the iron hot and the steam yeah. coming. So, but I want to say this though, my my wife mentioned, you here one day, and you go on the next. I just want to say, some young uh, rapper today, I'm not calling them because I don't want our show to get uh, dismissed or anything by Facebook. But the bottom line is, that's why it's so important to be in love with your wife or with your husband and, and being in their lives and being thriving, I mean, being braided, whatever they go, whether they're a star or not a star, still be braided with your loved one because you can be gone the next just day like or just like that. So that's why it's so important to stay together Iron out your issues. Mm -hmm. Make sure that y'all love keep the heat, keep the let your love keep the iron hot, mm -hmm. and let Christ keep the steam coming. All right. Let so so put it in like that. That's just that. That's just, <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. So when you come to this lady here, it's full full heat and steam ahead. Like a, like a train, like Same. my little grandson say, he be saying, Twain, Twain. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, uh, whether, whether I'm going straight or else I'm going up a hill, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chug a lug it on. That's so. it. That's it. And because I don't have the wrinkles, it's not always easy, you guys, but life is not easy. No. Like, you can't expect things to be easy. That's, that's what happens now with the newer generation, especially. Like they feel entitled. They feel like things ought to come easy. No, if it's really, honestly, if it's worth fighting for, it's not going to be easy. Like it, you're going to go through the hurdles. You're going to go through the challenges. But what we've learned to do is focus on the positive. I don't care what you are going through in life, what situation, like even, even for instance, when I was in pain, I felt like, and you know, even that pain was rough. But when I was getting rest, I felt like God was telling me, OK, you need to get somewhere and sit down and rest, you know. And then that gave my husband an opportunity to just lay in bed and just cuddle and just rest with me, you know, or just talk to me or whatever it was that gave us some downtime that we didn't have it at first because he was working. I was working. I was doing this or doing that. And so a lot of times God will do things, allow things. Hold, let me correct that. God don't do evil things. So don't get that twisted. God will allow things to happen to get our attention for one reason or another. And sometimes it's just to tell us, stop, realize what how blessed you are. Realize what's going on around you. Realize you're taking this for granted or you're taking that for granted or you're mistreating this person mm -hmm. or you're ignoring this person. God is always trying to get our attention. Like I always say, God is always speaking. Are we listening? And sometimes he literally have to stop you in your tracks, put you in the bed where you can't do nothing but lay there and meditate and thank God and praise God and talk to God to get your attention. And sometimes that's what it takes. 
but we cannot take things for granted. We cannot take our spouse for granted. We can not take our children. I have to give a shout out for our children. They stepped up and, and, and helped, uh, helped us in every area that they can. Mm -hmm. Our son and our daughter in love, our spiritual daughter, they all just stepped up to the plate and did what they could to help us in this season of me mm -hmm. dealing with pain. Uh, if my husband couldn't be here, they stepped up, you know, and so thank God for those that take the time to even show you love, show you that they care because they don't have to. Like, think about it. When a mother gives birth to her children and raise her children and get them to be grown, they can go on with their life. They ain't got to come back and appreciate you. They ain't got to come back and thank you. They ain't have to do none of that. So when they do, take that time, even if they're not grown, if they're young, you know, teenagers or even toddlers, if whatever they do to show you love, to show you appreciation, don't take it for granted because they don't have to. Mm -hmm. They really don't. Like the old saying is, you know, a child, I didn't ask to be brought into this world. The child didn't ask to be here. So whatever your child do, your children do to show you love, appreciation or any of that as a parent, don't take that for granted. Don't take that for granted because they don't have to. They can go on with their life and, and, and do their life and not even include you in it if they chose to. So just think about the things, how precious what you have in your life. And sometimes you overlook those things. And, you know, death has a way of getting people attention. Also, when someone died in the family, everybody come together and say they're going to do better. And that lasts for a little bit and they go on back to their old ways. But we cannot live life just existing. We have to live life in love. We have to love our, our spouses, to love our children, love our family members, love our friends, love, love people, period. Sometimes all people need is just a simple, uh, hi, how you doing? That looks nice, what you got on, something like that. We get so busy in life that we don't even stop and take the time to uh, compliment someone. And sometimes they need that. They may be having a hard time mm -hmm. at home financially or, in, you know, you don't never know what a person is going through. But what I've learned is in life, if you take the time to just listen, a lot of time you can give an encouraging word or insight and it makes someone day. And all you did was stop, give them a little time and a little words of inspiration. Let's let's make a vow to do that, you guys. It's the holidays, you know, not that we should just do this around the holidays, but now is the holidays, the time everybody become a little more nicer and all of that. But let's make it a habit to do that daily. Go out your way to compliment someone. Go out your way to show someone love. Go out your way to even buy someone something that you know couldn't afford to get it themselves or something. Just bless someone. Be a blessing to be a blessing. It's two things. When you do that, what my wife just said, it, it makes you feel better. Oh, yeah. I mean, can't nobody tell me it don't. It makes you feel better when you go and you tell somebody something like that. You look nice today or you got a pretty dress on. Uh, 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 hey, man, that jacket is sharp. Mm -hmm. Whether they receive it or not, mm -hmm. the power of the tongue, it came out of your mouth. So it's going to manifest whether it's something positive is going to happen to you later or, 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 or something positive. It, it if it's positive, it's going to manifest in a positive way. Mm -hmm. It's in a positive way, regardless of the person receiving or not. You want them to. Second thing is, we got to earn out the issue. Black families, we got to earn out our issues. We got to learn how to forgive. We got to learn how to forgive. Um, I want to go back to the to the young man that got all killed. Family, uh, all family, yes, all families. All family, but I want to go back to the young fella that, that got killed today, the rapper. I want to, I, 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 I pray for his family. I pray for his his wife, and I pray for his his children that 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 God cover them and bring them into a new light of life that 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 bring them unto Him. So so I pray for his family, but you know I don't know how things went down, but. A lot of us are killing each other because we don't know how to forgive. Mm -hmm. We got to learn how to earn this issue out. This is an issue amongst everybody. I don't care what race you are, but in particular, Black, African Americans, we 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 got to learn how to forgive. We got young men killing each other at a high rate. 
You got you got all the fellows that is getting involved and in, they dying, you know, at their age and should be uh, mentors. So we got to earn out our issues. We got to earn out our wrinkles in that in that in that area of forgiveness. We got to learn how to forgive one another. And and that's that's on everybody. Yeah. Not just me and my wife, but that's on everybody. That's true. And then when you start seeing that and people start forgiving each other, you can start being out. You can start seeing people being more excited out in the public because they ain't worried about somebody got a grudge against them. Learn how to earn out that issue of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Get it straight. Get it pressed. Put the heat and the steam to it that we can make this thing work. Every family in your neighborhood can be an awesome family, but they got to learn how to forgive. Another thing, how can we live beside of people five years and not even know them? That's got to stop. But it comes with trust and forgiveness. So uh, we have to earn out the wrinkles, we baby. We uh, I mean, we can go over all this from, from the top to the bottom. That's right. It takes effort. It does. It takes an individual to, to drop their selfishness mm -hmm. and start putting on the love that God have, have blessed us with. Mm -hmm. Because charity is the greatest, which yeah. is love. Being able to give, give a good attitude, mm -hmm. give a good thought, give a good praise to somebody. So it's so easy about making things better mm -hmm. but you got to put the effort in you got to be that individual you got to be that one i be that one mm -hmm. we all be that one and it adds up stacks up and that's when communities become communities again it's when everybody in that community know how to first of all forgive one another if you don't pass them any kind of forgive Forgive and start letting each person live as long as God allowed them and not take them early. I told my wife, I got to say this example, and I've been telling people at the job when we're having conversations. How can you take a woman or a man's life, another man take on another man or whatever it may be, vice versa on how it happened? How can you take their lives, but you let a tree stand and grow? To 60, to 70, 80, 100 year tree, but you don't took this person's life in just that small amount of number. Mm -hmm. So the point I'm trying to make, your life and our lives are more important than anything on this planet. Anything on this planet. So let's allow us to live. And it takes each person to think that way. It does. And ironing out wrinkles a lot of time is just us stop being consumed with what we got going on. Mm. Because, you know, that, that's just how the world, we're in a microwave generation, you know, that everybody won't quicken in a hurry. And so we're always thinking about what's going on with our own self and not necessarily thinking about what's going on with another person. And I, I feel like all of us can say we've been guilty of that at some time or another where you're consumed with whatever's going on with your life. But I've learned that when you take your focus, when you take your prayers off of what you got going on and put them prayers and put your focus on what someone else is going on, you get blessed. You get blessed even the more. You know, sometimes like even through all of this with me dealing within my body, um, dealing with, you know, the kidney stones or whatever, I find myself still laying in bed just praying for other people and praying for this person that come to mind or praying for that person or, you know, even getting phone calls, dealing with issues that people have going on in their life. And I mm -hmm. never tell them what's going on with me. They never even know mm -hmm. that I'm laying in the bed yes. in, in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. But I take the time because to me at that moment, what's going on with them because they call me is way more important than what I'm dealing with. And mm -hmm. that if we take that mindset a lot of times, you know, you'll see something that you think is you're going through uh, is like a, a, a mountain. Sometimes it feels like a little mohill at that point because you'd be like, wow, 
they going through this, this, and that. And I was complaining about what I'm going through. And so a lot of times we have to take that focus off of whatever is going on within our life and take that time and that energy to put it into someone else, to pray for yes, someone else, yes. to, to bless them financially, to bless them with just listening. You know, so many times we listen to answer. We don't listen to hear. And so many times people are telling us exactly what's going on with them, but we're so wanting them to hurry up with the conversation so we can jump in and talk that we're really not even listening to uh, what they're saying. And I know that's something I always tell my husband that we have to work on. A lot of times both of us, be want to like, say for instance, he just got home from work. He wants to tell me what he got going on. I want to tell him what um, I got going on or whatever. And then we have to stop and just say, okay, let, you know, I let him go first or he let me go first or whatever, but don't be so fast to want to explain what's going on with you that you're not hearing exactly what's going on with your spouse that's that's very important y'all when it comes to husband and wife because i know i've been really guilty of that my husband is not a complainer he whatever's going on with him he's not going to complain about it he's going to just deal with it so when he do uh, want to vent or complain about something on his job or just anything um then i know okay let me shut it down stop what i'm doing and listen because he needs to get something off his chest or he needs to just talk about something, or he may be coming to me for a solution, or sometimes he may just be coming for, to listen and vice versa. I need to earn out the wrinkle. Exactly. And so we have to be so intentional with our spouses and even with our children that we listen and see what is really going, what are they really saying? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we'd be so quick to give them an answer that we're not really listening to what they're saying. And so let, let's take the time to iron out those wrinkles of saying, okay, Let's put whatever I got going on on pause and give my undivided attention to my spouse or give my undivided attention to my neighbor or give my undivided attention to my coworker, whoever it may be. You know, take that time to invest in someone else because I promise you, you, you reap the harvest. Mm -hmm. You will reap the harvest of just stop what you're doing. Put the focus on them. I'm telling you, you always reap the harvest because when you hear the praise report, then you can say, OK, praise God. I pray for sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so or whatever. And they come back with the praise report. That's such a great feeling. It's just like it happened to you. Amen. And so Amen. be intentional. Iron the wrinkles out. Iron the wrinkle of listening, yes, you know, yes. of being intentional about listening and giving people your unbodied attention. Put the phones down. Yeah. You know, sometimes like when my husband and I, we're on our date night or whatever, we, we put our phones up, like just put the phones to the side. If it's an emergency, they, they'll keep ringing. And she we'll will know. take a picture of something for yeah. other nights, but you know, it's normal. But other than that, we put the phones aside because y'all know our phones, we can, we can get so in, engulfed in, in Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or whatever. Instagram, Snickerstown, all of that. Bama Bam, all those stations. Um, yes, all of that can joke. consume you so much that yo that you be on spent three or four hours and not even realize it. Yes. And having achieved nothing but sitting there just entertaining. Amen. Another another wrinkle, uh, and that was awesome, but another wrinkle we need to iron out, put the put the heat and the steam to it, is hating on one another. Mm -hmm. We need to put we need to iron this wrinkle out, guys. Guys, let, let me just speak to the guys. Mm -hmm. This is why so many of us are dying so fast and so quickly because we don't know how to iron it out mm -hmm. and stop hating on one another. Let me give you an example I use myself. I don't care how much another man achieved in this fashion. When you achieve that, you can, I wish you had 30 homes that you own. I wish you had 20 cars that you own. Guess what? Mr. Robinson believed that if you can get even more than that, God bless you. Yes. And guess what? And on the other side of that, it makes me feel like if I see another brother achieving, it's just like me achieving. I'm so happy for him. Listen, listen to me, guys. When you hear this video, I am so happy for you, brother, to achieve more than you ever can achieve in life. Mm -hmm. 
that makes me feel like I'm right there with you. I went through everything you do. You did to get it. I may not have been there, but brother, I want you to get all you can. So haters, iron out your issues. Iron it out. Turn your negativity into positivity. When you see a brother getting a walking across that stage got a degree, mm -hmm. woo, brother, thank you. I feel like I just walked across there. Mm -hmm. Woo, man, you just got a full bedroom home with three baths and three garage. Look, brother, I live with you in the spirit. That's the way it should be. So let's iron out this hate, guys. That's why so many are down. This hate or this, this pull you back down mentality. No. Let's push each other up. Right. Listen to that. That's Listen right. to that. That's a nugget for you, brothers. That's right. And if you haven't shared the video already, go ahead and share the video. And again, if you would like to see into this ministry, all of the information is Scrolling across the bottom, uh, if you want to see via Cash App, it's dollar sign Bone of My Bone eight eight eight, and PayPal it's Bone of My Bone Marriage of the Heart at Gmail dot com. Those are the ways you can see into this ministry. If this if it's being a blessing to you, yeah. uh, definitely go ahead and see plant that seed, and you know you will reap the harvest. But I want to say I'll, this, baby. Let me say this. I, I know we're talking about seed and seed into the ministry. Mm -hmm. But let's explain to them, and you help me out, let's explain to them that we fast and we pray. Mm -hmm. We yeah. understand the spirits that can come upon you when you fast and pray mm -hmm. for yourself, and then you don't know the outcome after doing that. Mm -hmm. But we've been through this battle. Mm -hmm. We've been through this battle. This ground is fertile. Yes, it is. This ground is fertile. And I, I just want people to know that, that, I mean, you do what you do, and, you, and, and it's from your heart, but the bottom line is, we are on fertile soil, mm -hmm. and I want to plant my seed. Mm -hmm. And we have people that we have, we have overseers that we plant our seeds in, oh, because yeah. we, when we plant in them, because they're, they are fertile, mm -hmm. fertile ground. And so, when we're talking about planting the seed, mm -hmm. don't say that you're giving it to us. No, you really, you really opening up more doors that we can't open. Mm -hmm. Only God can open. And it could be for your children. Mm -hmm. It can be for your home, your job, a promotion on your job. Everything that, that God has for you, all you're doing is just unlocking that door. Mm -hmm. When we say seed into the ministry. It ain't for us. It's for what God wants us to do and keep doing it and keep doing it in the way that he wants us to do it, not us. So when we're talking about seed, it's about ministry in Jesus Christ, not about us. That's right. That's right. But if you, like I said, desire to plant the seed, that information is right there below. Also, we wanted to let you know we will not be on next week. So we're putting that, telling you that right now we'll be advertising. But next week is Thanksgiving and we plan to celebrate with our families all that week. And so you will not see us on here next Wednesday. Um, but you can listen in. We will be live on next Saturday on uh, OP. OPNS 97.1 at 11 a.m. Eastern. Grow. Yes. And so you still, we still will be on there on Saturdays, but for as Wednesday going live via social media, all our social media platforms, we will not be going forth. Take time to be with your families while we take time to be with ours. But you guys are such a blessing to us and we enjoy coming on and just talking to you guys, giving you nuggets, giving you what God has Ooh. given to us to give to you, and just interacting with That's each good. other. So continue to support us, whether it's on the social media platforms or whether it's on the radio, wherever you're supporting us, we appreciate it so yes. much. And we want you guys to know how much we love you. We don't take it for granted. No, no, and we no. always are praying. If you ask for prayer for anything, we go in right then and there. We don't wait and put it off. We get off 
if we get off of here, we go right into praying. So we don't we don't take it lightly when people uh, put in prayer requests. Well, we immediately go in for that. I want to pray for the families that's on and that will see the video. I want to pray for that you have an awesome thank you. Lord, I thank you for giving us strength and power to be yes, here, to God. be a conduit for you, Lord Jesus Christ, to be a mouthpiece, to bring every word you want through us, Lord Jesus Christ, to, to pierce someone hard, to understand who you are in our lives and their lives, Lord. Lord, I ask you to give every family a thanksgiving, Lord Jesus Christ, giving a thanks unto you that they able to sit around the table or sit in the den or sit in the living room and have their fun with their families and eat their food, Lord Jesus Christ, and, and just be who they are for you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for every family that's on tonight, that you be blessed, that uh, you go forward. You did, Lord, we ask you to dispatch the angels over the rest of the week rest of the month, rest of the year, rest of the decade, rest of the century for each family that's on tonight and everyone that sees this video. Lord, we love you and thank you. In, in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And you have been tuned into Bone, Bone of, of My Bone, Bone Marriage of, of the Heart. Heart. We love you guys. Until next I time. I love you guys and I love her more. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we will not be on the social media platforms next Wednesday, but we will be on on Saturdays. So look forward to seeing and interacting with you guys. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.